Shalom, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning to you all. All praises be to the Most High. Yeah. Um, the message today is very quick. This was just laid on my heart. I wasn't planning on doing um, a video message today um, because I'm, you know, um, premiering um, later on tonight a um, a video message. Um, and I'm working on this big teaching. Hopefully, if I'm done with it, um, it will premiere this coming Sabbath. If not, it will definitely be premiering next Sabbath. But what I want to talk to you today is about um, the sixth commandment where we are told that thou shall not murder. Okay. Um, thou shall not murder is not the same thing as killing because we are allowed to kill animals for meat. Um, for those of us who do eat meat, those meat that he said is clean, of course. However, when we think about murdering, okay, this is when you are shedding innocent blood. So how are some ways that you can shed innocent blood? Okay, you can shed innocent blood um, beyond um, just the physical. I think many of us think, well, I haven't killed anyone. You know, I haven't murdered anyone. Um, I have not, um, you know, physically shot someone or stabbed someone or manslaughter or something along those lines. But very rarely do we understand that you can actually murder using your mouth. How many of you knew that? Yes, you can actually murder using your mouth. Um, many of us use it, do it all the time when we're making railing accusations. I spoke about that um, in the premiere that's going to be, um, that you're going to see for those of you who watch it um, later on this um, evening. Um, but when you think about murder, and the reason why this was uh, laid on my heart, because this is something that's going on right now, um, but it was shown to me, this is not my issue. Um, it tells us, um, the Messiah tells us that um, in Matthew 5, verse 22, that if you hate your brother without a cause, um, he says you're going to be in danger of judgment, okay? Um, that's not a good thing. Um, if you hate your brother or sister without a cause, you are in danger of judgment. So what does that mean? So if you're walking around and you're angry with someone and they have no idea that you're angry with them, you're walking around and you're harboring this hatred or this anger towards them. And he tells us that if you, and this is for those of you who are in the faith, okay? If you have, he says, an ought against your brother or sister, um, you're to take it directly to that person, not gossip about that person and tell other people about the person that has transgressed you, but you are to go directly to that person and tell them, hey, you know, you have transgressed me, okay? Um, very rarely do we see many people in the body following this. Most of the time when someone has done us wrong, we go and we call up our bestie or we call up someone else in the faith and we tell them about it first and we have not even gone to the person to let the person know that they have transgressed us. There's an order to the way that we deal with conflict and strife within the body as according to scripture. And so if you have an audit against your brother, it tells us that we are to go and take it directly to that person and then if that person doesn't want to hear, then you go and then get another brother or sister that is truly walking in the faith, not someone who is about drama and who's going to be biased, okay? Someone who is going to pervert judgment or bear false witness, but you want someone that is trustworthy and reliable and walks in integrity and you and another brother or sister in the faith will go to that person. If that person doesn't want to hear, then you go and then you can go and bring it before the, the congregation and that person is counted off as a heathen, okay? We cannot walk around in unforgiveness. Cannot walk around in unforgiveness, um, you know, because um, unforgiveness, he says, if you don't forgive your brother or your sister when they have transgressed you, then he said he's not going to forgive you. We have to extend mercy 
and be gracious unto one another as he has been merciful unto us and extended grace unto us. And he has not repaid us fully for what we are all doing, and that is death. We all deserve death, but he showed us mercy when he sent his son, Yeshua HaMashiach. He showed us grace when he sent his son. He was gracious unto us. That's why we're so um, not to insult the spirit of grace to treat his blood as common when he came to set you free from the bondage of sin. If you are in Yeshua HaMashiach, you are free indeed, and there's no need to continue to allow yourself to yield and be a slave to sin. And so when you're operating in anger and unforgiveness, you're, you're operating in the works of the flesh, not the fruits of the spirit, because the fruits of the spirit is slow to anger. The fruit of the spirit is patience and enduring and forbearing. And his name is forbearing. He's slow to anger. So we have to make sure that we're that way with one another because we're in this human body. And we're going to, at some point, transgress, you know, uh, maybe say something. And oftentimes we're doing this. You may be doing this and you may be unaware um, that you have transgressed someone or that you have hurt a person or you have offended someone. However, we don't want to be easily offended as well, because sometimes we can be too sensitive and you're easily offended. You know, every time someone says, boo, and you're offended. We don't want to be that way either. We want to be slow to anger. And if someone has sinned, you know, against us, um, if someone has transgressed us, then, uh, or hurt us, or, you know, sometimes someone may do something they may not be aware. It is our job as believers to let that person know. And you go to that person, you let them know and love, you know what? I felt hurt when you said this or when you did this and maybe that person didn't even know and they weren't aware and they're like oh you know what I didn't know I did that please forgive me I'm sorry I apologize okay now you've won a brother you we must be uh quick to reconcile with one another and not harboring holding on to anger um and he tells us even with our enemies that if someone you know persecutes you or or, or mistreats you you know, because sometimes people are doing it purposely. We talked about this before, um, showing, um, um, giving praise when you're being afflicted. Go ahead and pray for that person. Pray for your enemies. If it's an enemy and it's not a friend, pray for your enemies because you can heap coals of fire on them. That shames them when you are walking in love with them and they're walking around hating you throwing shade at you for no reason and you have not transgressed them when does a person put on shades they put on shades because the light is too bright sometimes your very presence especially if you are truly walking in y'all you're gonna have haters he's already told you that if they hated him they're gonna hate you so expect to have haters i'm talking to you those of you who are truly serving y'all expect to have haters you should have haters if you don't have haters that means that you're not doing something right you're not really walking in truth expect to have haters i have plenty of haters but he has told us that we are to pray for our enemies i know it gets hard because sometimes you want to just talk about them and you want to you know and you don't want to pray for them Okay, I will be sitting here telling a straight up lie if I told you I haven't been there, but I had to yield my flesh and, and, and submit to what the word said. And I had to do this with a person and it changed the whole relationship. Now, getting back quickly before I end this, because I said I wasn't going to be too long. If you are uh, walking around with anger towards a brother, Okay, and I'm not talking about someone who's not of the faith. I'm not talking about your enemy. If it's your enemy and it's not someone that's of the faith, if it's an unbeliever, pray for them. Pray for them and pray for Father Yah to change their hearts. Pray that he will make your enemies be at peace with you, but you can still continue to walk the way that he has commanded for us to walk. Don't allow the enemy to cause those who are unbelievers, those who are not of the faith, and even those within the faith that may be temporarily being used by the enemy and not even know it, 
don't allow them to cause you to get out of pocket because it's quick to happen when you're at work. And I know many of you can understand what I'm saying. And so hating your brother or sister without a cause is when the person that you're angry with, that you're hating, that you have this hostility, that you're bitter against, whatever it is, you're envious, you're jealous, and this person has not, and you know they have not, they have not transgressed you, they have not offended you, okay, they have not said anything to you, they have not done anything to you, they have not transgressed you, they have not broken Torah, they haven't done any of those things, and you're angry with them, you're walking around and harboring and festering anger, There's, you're holding this negative energy, you're sinning, and you need to repent. I'm talking to anybody who's watching this. If you're feeling a certain kind of way about a person and you have not told them, and this is a brother or sister in the faith, and you're just acting funny towards them, and maybe you, they offended you, or maybe you're feeling some kind of way, and they don't even know it. And because you're still immature, and that's and I'm and and I'm being real right now, because you're still immature, because if you were mature in this walk you will be doing exactly what he commanded you to do, which was to go to that person in love and tell them, okay, you offended me. I was hurt when. Use I messages instead of just blaming. Use I messages, tell the person how you felt and then tell them what they said or did to offend you, to hurt you, to make you angry, whatever the case that may be. But Many of you, we don't take that route. Many of us, we just gossip about them. We slander them. We make really accusations. We call them names. And now you're sinning, okay? Two wrongs do not make a right. It doesn't matter what they did. If you're not following the, the, the word as he has laid it out as a blueprint, as how we are to reconcile and to resolve conflicts with one another, you're just as bad and you're both in judgment. He said, Matthew 5, 22, the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach said that if you are angry with your brother, okay, brother or sister, brother means a brother and those who are part of the body of the Messiah. If you are angry with your brother or sister and you hate them without a cause, you are hating them and you're angry with them without a cause. Do you know that this is murder? Did you know, many of you did not know that that was murder. You are in danger of judgment, okay? And no one who hates his brother is getting into the kingdom. Sometimes we spend so much time on what we consider these, you know, the larger or more weightier things we consider in Torah. We focus in on the commandments and the law and the feasts and the Sabbath. But many of us in Israel still don't even know how to walk in love with one another. Still cannot even... Um, even uh, resolve conflict with one another, still walking around debating when he told us to stop debating and stop arguing over genealogy because this causes strife and contention, yet we're still doing these things. And then we're still thinking that we can be, we can walk around and, and harbor envy and hatred in our hearts towards our brothers and sisters. And we think that we're getting into the kingdom because we're keeping the Sabbath, because we're keeping the feast days, because we have a metri on our head, because we have our head covered. You're not getting into the kingdom like this. I have somebody right now who has absolutely nothing. I was so, this is not my issue. I just pray for the person. But someone just hating you without a cause. You haven't done anything to the person. You haven't said anything. You have not transgressed. You have not said a, 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 a word that was unkind or anything. Sometimes I, it's been times when I've been helpful going out of my way to help people and they're mad with me and I have no idea, haven't done anything to them. In Israel, and I've said it before, envy and jealousy is big in Israel. This is, it's, it's gotten so out of hand and I rarely see people talk about it. I'm talking about it today because I want those of you who to know who calling yourself walking in this truth. If you're walking around harboring envy and hatred towards a brother or sister, you have an evil eye towards them. You know, you're just like Saul. Okay. And you're jealous and you're envious and they haven't transgressed you. Many of you are plotting behind the scenes and uh, uh, towards or against a brother or sister, hating them in your heart 
without a cause, having said or done anything, having transgressed, having broken Torah, having said an unkind word. Sometimes it's happened. This is happening to people that you don't even know. It is just Yahoo is in you, the light that is in you. Him raising you up oftentimes. A lot of times, Yah told us, and I think it's in Exodus, I can't remember the chapter, but a lot of times Yah is raising many of your brothers or sisters that you're hating up. It is Yah that is elevating him, him or her. It is Yah that is elevating them so that he can get the glory, so that he can be magnified in the earth, so that his name and of and his of his mercy and his wonders in the earth can be declared to people. And you're hating on your brother or your sister because you see that they teach well or they have the gift of prophecy and you don't or they are able to put lessons together better than you or have a greater understanding. You're Instead of you hopping on board and, and being inspired and seeing how can I you know, grow, what is it that you're doing as far as studying so that I can learn how to study the proper way? You're sitting up hating on them. You're sitting up envious and you're sitting up harboring hatred in your heart, upset with them, and they haven't said a thing to you. Do not commit murder. You can murder with your mouth by slandering and speaking ill will and having an evil eye and an evil mouth and speaking um, guile towards your brother or sister, slandering them, making the railing accusations, calling them out their name, saying things which is blasphemy, and many of you don't know that too. Even the angels didn't even make a blasphemous or a railing accusation against Satan. They didn't even call him. They said, Yah rebuke you. You're gonna, I'm, I talk about it a little bit tonight in the um, premiere that's going to happen this evening. Um, so if you're able to check out the premiere tonight at 8 p.m., uh, make sure the notifications are on for this teaching. If you are not subscribed to the Sword of the Spirit Biblical Teaching, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Do not commit murder. You shall not murder. You shall not hate your brother or sister without a cause. If they have not transgressed you, if they have transgressed you, then you have a right and a responsibility to reach out to that person that person first, not everyone else, and you tell them directly, follow the protocol as outlined in scripture. We are not, no murderer will see the kingdom. Don't overlook what you consider to be the small things of scripture. Many might miss out on the kingdom just for this because you're harboring unforgiveness in your heart. If your brother and sister, if you go to that brother and you sister, you follow all the protocols and, and they forgive you, I mean, and they um, they're willing to listen to you and they apologize, then accept them back. Accept them back. Any sheep, even he says that's lost. He went, he sent his son to retrieve those lost tribe, those strangers, because they became strangers. <laughs> Once he divorced that Northern kingdom, he sent his son to go back to retrieve those who were lost, who were dispersed and who had become strangers because they were no longer his people. He wanted them back. So let's begin to truly honor the covenant. I'm going to be spending a lot more time and, and I see the father is going to be having me talking about things that maybe we all miss. Maybe there's some things that, you know, you might not often hear. There's a lot to this walk and a lot of this right now, if we don't get our behavior in order and we stop misrepresenting Yah, a lot of us are going to be cut off straight up. So do not commit murder. You shall not, according to our Messiah in Matthew 5, 22, you shall not hate your brother or sister without a cause. If they have not transgressed you and you know they have it, you need to check your spirit. You need to fast and pray and ask them to, deli to deliver you from these feelings that are unyali. So I pray that you all will enjoy the rest of your day. Shalom family.